say yes, because she like compliments me in almost every way. We're not, I wouldn't say that we have very many opposites. We have quite a few, you know, what's the word? Similarities. Similarities, thank you. <laughs> there we go. She finishes my sentences for me. I don't know what I pictured necessarily, but I couldn't think of anybody better. Um, <laughs> I think you make me a better person. I think your love is very unconditional and very selfless, and that's exactly what I needed. I was born and raised here in Great Falls, Montana, and grew up, graduated from Great Falls High in 04. From there, I went to Bozeman for a couple years, go Bobcats, and <laughs> the good team. And then I started working at the Max in 2007, and I've been working there ever since. Well, let's see, I grew up in Conrad, small town. Then I went to college for a couple years in Helena, got on full-time at the Guard. And that's been about 10 years now that I've been at the Guard, so that's pretty much what brought me to Great Falls full-time. I now work on C-130s, taking care of all the cargo that goes on them, packing parachutes for uh, everything that gets dropped out of them. Take this one. Yeah. I'm gonna begin. Okay, we met at my work. I work at the Max Casino and Sports Bar. I remember seeing him, but not really knowing him well or much about him. And then he was, what do you call it, deployed? I do. <laughs> deployed to Hawaii for several months, and for some reason I thought his name was Taylor. So I remember asking some friends that I recognized him hanging out with when I was out at a later date where that Taylor kid was and he was in Hawaii for four months so then he came back shortly after that and I ran into him and we just kicked it off from there yeah well there was a weird guy out at the bar we were at we go to the crown so he was kind of annoying me so I made Josh pretend to be my fiance so <laughs> we've been engaged twice now yeah so. time number two <laughs> Josh likes to go golfing, he likes to do anything outside. He occasionally brews his own craft beer, so he enjoys that. We like to go on drives here, there, and everywhere, little hikes, and he's obsessed with our daughter, Peyton, the <laughs> German Shepherd. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, shh, good girl, yeah, can you say hi? We had um, just been having a random conversation before we moved in together about <laughs> what kind of dogs we liked. I said I always wanted German Shepherd and Josh actually said the same thing. So after things got a little bit more serious, we moved in together, <laughs> we got the baby. <laughs> Let's see, Missy. Shopping. Missy absolutely <laughs> loves to shop. Doesn't matter uh, if it's clothing or accessories. She hates grocery shopping though. Missy but, doesn't uh, cook. Yeah, Josh I, cooks. I do the cooking, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> she cooks occasionally and it's always delicious. Uh, Missy also likes to go on long hikes for cruises, so that compliments me very well because I just like being out of town, getting away from everything, mm -hmm. which so does she. She, uh, I'd say she's an avid, an avid fisherman, but uh, she hasn't caught a fish yet, so I've we're still working on that. Fish. Many crawdads. Many crawdads. No fish. Many crawdads. You forgot I like to sleep. <laughs> she does like to sleep. <laughs> I wasn't gonna throw That's that. That's my favorite. <laughs> Seems like everybody's got a prize. She has many favorite ar artists. Right now, she listens to a lot of uh, Blake Sheldon, though, I feel. I like Rascal Flats. Yes, I'm a Rascal definitely. Flats problem. Josh doesn't enjoy them. They're too whiny. Um, a boy band. <laughs> Josh likes a lot of country. Um, let's see. Little Some Katie, pop. Little Katy Perry. Yeah. And I'm going to... This is totally off base here, but he also likes Pitch Perfect. That has nothing to do with music, but he really enjoyed that as well. Um, <laughs> and the sequel. 
Um, you're welcome. <laughs> what else? One hundred percent me. I. Josh cleans up most of my mess. He puts away most of my dishes. Um. I. I'm considered her house husband. He's my house many. husband. I don't really do laundry. It's really repulsive. If you could see the laundry in the basement in the bedroom, you'd probably be a little disgusted. <laughs> so I do the essentials. I'm not dirty, but again, goes back to the shopping. I go buy new. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> A lot of times. As you walk on by, will you call my name? Missy is definitely, and everybody that knows Missy knows that she's late. I'm consistent. Constantly. I'm consistent. But the weird thing is, <laughs> when you plan for her being late, so you tell her that you have to be there half an hour early, she's on time. Those late. are the one. Those are the few moments, the fleeting moments, so, that I arrive on time and messes everybody up. So then, then she asks <laughs> why she's done before you actually have to leave, and it's like, well, I lied to you. We had to be there in half an hour it's later. It's been called Missy time by many people. I am allowed to be five minutes late to work just because they're being accommodating to me. I spend a lot, of high, or a lot of high school in detention for being late constantly. So, my joke is that I was born a preemie, and that was the only time I was ever early. Nine pound preemie, I might add. When we first started living together, she, uh, she liked to leave milk in glasses. <laughs> and that really... And I have to use a different glass for every single thing I touch. But I don't drink milk, so <laughs> that kind of really disgusted me. A little residue for the dishwasher. But we've worked that out. We have yeah, the dishwasher. <laughs> You don't do much. I don't do anything. You're perfect. Oh. <laughs> um, gosh. I really don't know. Anytime I write a message on a card or tell her something sweet, she kind of tears up. That's, I do. It's pretty do. only messy, I would say. Sad Chinese messy. <laughs> <laughs> that. I started doing, and I don't mean to be offensive to anybody, I started doing this thing as a very, very small child, and my mom thought it was so cute that she said she couldn't tell it no, but it's probably one of the most hideous things you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> so sometimes I try to use it on Josh. It doesn't work. It's not very effective. No. So I will show you. I'm sure you it goes a little something like this. Sad Chinese messy. Not working. <laughs> That's for her brother and her mother. It's Not precious. Me. It's precious. <laughs> he's like he's very, very thoughtful. I get a lot of little sweet notes, um, cards just because, flowers just because. He leaves me leftovers in the fridge a lot. Or when he's cooked a meal or when I get home from work late. And a lot of times they have sweet little notes on them. Um... He went out of town a while back and left me a card for every day that he was gone. So I would find them throughout the house, so that was pretty cute. Did hide him. He's very thoughtful. Yeah. The proposal story. Well, we had... I had many different uh, thoughts in my head, and I probably went through about 20 of them, just trying to you know, picture what would make her the happiest or make her cry. And then I also had to coordinate with her brother that uh, lived in San Diego because I wanted him to be there. So it all ended up being, we like to go boating at Holter and we like to go to the Indian Head Lodge up there so we can have lunch and uh, just listen to this old guy who plays the accordion and sings some old Italian songs. It's quite fun and mm -hmm. funny. But uh, so I finally was able to coordinate it through her brother who was showing up. And then last minute, he changed dates. everything. He changed mm -hmm. the dates to the week before I left for a month for the guard. True. So that really threw a, a wrench in the thing. Jason. <laughs> I, I feel like he changes did. his plans a lot. <laughs> but uh, so anyways, we uh, 
we got him here. We got her mom, who doesn't even like to go on boats, doesn't like to be around water. No. So we uh, we got her out on the boat. We got uh, my sister-in-law, Jason and Natalie, mm-hmm. and we boated around for the day. Went to the the lodge where we had been. We had a, a cocktail or two with the family, and we were getting ready to back out. And I asked uh, her sister-in-law to throw in this mix CD that I had made. Yeah. Just like high school. Yeah. Songs that were important to us. They they were important songs. Yeah. And I asked her to put it in, and she's sitting there looking at the CD, and it says. Missy or Josh. She reads loves, it aloud. Josh you. loves Missy, and it's got today's date on it. <laughs> and uh, I had an inkling then. <laughs> and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, oh no, she just ruined it. She just ruined it. Well, her brother's sitting on the dock, and he's fishing for his phone, slowly pulling it out because he kind of knew. The second she she read that, I thought, I think this is probably it. My heart just starts pounding, and so I was like, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And then I know he said something super sweet, but I was so overcome with everything that was happening i i couldn't tell you what he said i think that she's probably the most sincere person i know like she will back you up no matter what she's very kind, very giving, and I also like how blunt and forthcoming she is. She uh, sometimes she doesn't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> she gives it with to you. you, with me, yeah. with other people. I'm a little more bashful, but <laughs> but I appreciate that. I know where I stand at all times. Probably within like three months of hanging out and doing things together, I had what was it like six months into dating? I had to leave for three months. To yep. go to Alaska, mm-hmm. so I I was gone pretty much right away, and she came up and visited me. It was yeah. supposed to be halfway through the trip, but uh, it ended up being at the very end of the trip. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that uh, having weathered that little storm of just Distance. being separated and gone, mm-hmm. I think I knew that uh, she was the one. Oh. And then right after that, we got a dog and moved in together. So that definitely I'm cemented a things. Mother. <laughs> you are your baby whisperer. Yeah. Everybody that knows you knows that. So. So, my favorite things about Josh. Josh is probably one of the most genuine people I know. Um, you are very, very thoughtful. You're very selfless. If I ever have a bad day, I can know where I can come to turn to talk to somebody. He's always on my team. It's great to know that somebody has your back. He's very good at communicating. Now he's he's getting teary, so I'm gonna get teary. <laughs> no. Um, Quit. <laughs> he's a great caretaker. I have never felt more taken care of or <laughs> appreciated. Oh, no tears. You started it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never felt more loved than with him so I couldn't be more blessed or thank God more because I think I'm supposed to be with him so he's my person (laughs) meant for each other damn it Josh (laughs) (laughs) Josh and I just want to say a very big thank you to everybody who traveled to Whitefish today I know it's a lot to ask to take time out of your busy lives and schedules, but we appreciate and love you all so much, and it means the world to us to have you here. So Most definitely. So, I think we're just very grateful and very thankful and very blessed. Big weekend, big distance. Huge weekend. So thank you very much for yes. uh, being here for us. Yes, we appreciate it. Thank you.